Welcome back, it's Peter Barlas, cardiologist. Now, today's topic is one that you might have heard being referred to by the acronym SCAD. Now, SCAD stands for Spontaneous Coronary Artery Dissection. Now, what does it all mean and how can we best manage this condition? Now, when you look at SCAD, the first word is spontaneous, which means that it can happen for unknown reasons and out of the blue. Coronary artery, obviously referring to the arteries around the heart, and dissection, the word dissection means a small little tear that occurs in the wall of the artery. And that then triggers off a cascade of events, contributing to clot formation in the artery and potentially blocking the artery, causing a heart attack. Now this SCAD condition is not that uncommon, but when you look at the total patients that present with an acute coronary syndrome or a heart attack, up to 5% of patients may present with this particular cause of their heart attack. It is more common in females, typically less than 50 years of age. So in that population of those females who present less than 50 with a heart attack, it can account for about 35% of their heart attack. Now, what actually happens here? Well, for some unknown reasons, and we'll cover a few of those possible links, there is a small tear that develops in the wall of the artery. And that is quite nicely depicted here in this animation where the tear develops that then causes disturbances in blood flow, the buildup of clot, and that then manifests as a heart attack with a lack of blood and oxygen getting to the heart muscle, causing the heart attack. Now, why does it happen? Now, we know that it is more common in females, so then potentially there may be a hormonal link. It can also be seen in the peri and postpartum period, so in pregnancy. Again, it may be hormonal, it might be fluctuations in blood pressure, but also those changes in hormones that might trigger off a small vulnerability in the wall of the artery to cause this little tear that results in this problem. There might be other conditions that you may have that make your arteries more vulnerable. And in particular, there is a muscular condition that affects the muscular portion of the wall of the artery, you might have heard called fibromuscular dysplasia. But this is a condition that can lead to a weakening in the wall of the artery, making it more prone to having this little tear. There might be other conditions, such as immune or autoimmune conditions, that may make the arteries and the vessels more friable and more potentially at risk of developing this condition. Now, what symptoms does it present with? Well, again, this is a medical emergency. This is a condition that often is associated with being quite unwell, quite distressed, with an acute onset of chest pain, which may be radiating up into the jaw, down the arms, in the back, feeling nauseous, feeling like you're going to vomit, feeling like you can't catch your breath, quite short of breath. This is a medical emergency where we urge you to get quick, prompt attention with paramedics and calling your local paramedic service and obviously getting yourself into hospital. Because the earlier we recognize this, we can institute treatments to help reduce the long-term complications. Now, how do we diagnose this? Well, it is diagnosed based on a clinical presentation, but also on the angiogram. So when you're presenting to hospital, you'll be taken to the cardiac cath lab, whereby we do this procedure most often through the wrist. A little tube is placed up to the heart and we inject dye into the arteries to confirm exactly whether this has happened or not, and whether this is the cause of the heart attack or the blockage in the artery. When there's a bit of ambiguity or uncertainty, we can also use some very fancy types of 
cameras that we can place inside the artery to look at more closely the wall of the artery to see exactly what has gone on. Now, when somebody presents with a heart attack, the treatment is often unblocking the artery by placing a stent to open this up. That's not always needed for this condition in SCAD. Often medications, and medications include blood thinning medication, can improve symptoms. And we find that over time, without even having to put a stent in the artery, that the vessel does heal over a period of a few months. So that is a very, very good prognostic sign for this condition. But again, the earlier we get in to improve blood flow, to provide you with the blood thinning medication, means that we reduce the risk of damage long term to the heart. And the damage occurs there by the heart muscle being starved of oxygen, the longer that the artery is closed. In some scenarios, however, there may need to be a stent placed to open up that area and to limit the amount of uh, damage that can happen as a result of this condition causing the blockage of an artery. But as I said, you'll normally be in hospital for a few days, and it's important then to address any possible predisposing conditions, controlling things like you know, blood pressure, if that's a factor, but also looking again in more general terms at other cardiac risk factors. Then we also need to institute a series of medications that are useful to help the recovery of the heart muscle. And again, in the majority of cases, people do recover fully, leading an active and fulfilling life without any long-term consequences. But again, here we just wanted to focus on this condition called SCAD, spontaneous coronary artery dissection. It is not uncommon. It's a cause of somebody presenting with a heart attack. It is more common in females, typically less than 50 years of age, but does happen in males as well. The treatments are slightly different in terms of we often can settle things down if clinically uh, you have stabilized and the patient is not having any ongoing symptoms, then we can often get away with not placing a stent. And we find that over the course of a few months, the artery resolves, heals on its own, restoring normal blood flow. So again, thanks for joining me. Until the next video, bye for now.